Side effects include headache, flushing, upset stomach, and abnormal vision. To avoid long-term injury, seek immediate medical help for an erection lasting more than four hours. Stop taking Viagra and call your doctor right away if you experience a sudden decrease or loss in vision or hearing. Everybody, this is Praxis, and in this episode, we're talking about how old preppers can get wood in, during a post SHTF collapse event. And by old preppers, I mean people who've just been prepping for a while. And by wood, I mean, well, of course, firewood. What else would you mean by that? Uh, this is my stack of firewood that I have prepared for this winter. And as you can see, a lot of this stuff is kind of dark brown. Like some of it looks like kind of fresh, clean cuts on it, but a lot of it is dark brown. This was a rotting pile of old logs that were left here at this normal house. When I got here and I you know, had, had this big pile and we're gonna be liquidating this place, maybe renting it or selling it, uh, you know, once we move into the second homestead. And I'd like to kind of clean up the area so there's not big piles of logs. I know for me, I saw that pile of logs as an asset, but for other people, they're like, oh, that's ugly, I don't wanna see that. Um, and I also need firewood for this uh, this coming winter. So I went into it and I just grabbed a lot of this stuff. And even now it's, I mean, it's drying out, but it's still kind of like de decomposed. It's soft, fluffy stuff. And it's not the best firewood, but, and I know a lot of people when they, uh, you know, see stuff like that, they, they think, oh, well, you know, that's no good for firewood. You need, you know, you know, fresh, clean stuff. But just because something's not ideal doesn't mean it doesn't work. And this stuff is still going to yield an enormous amount of heat and warmth during the winter time. So if you see old rotting wood uh, and stuff on your property or, you know, you see, you know, an old dead fallen tree or, or something, even if it's not, you know, fresh and clean and new, this one here looks a little better here. Uh, but even if it's not that, you can still get a lot of heat out of it. And, you know, just keep that in mind when you are in a situation where you are, you know, up a creek. Sometimes you don't have the best, most ideal resources. But just because a resource isn't ideal doesn't mean it's not still totally useful. And by using this stuff, not only, like I said, do I get firewood heat out of it, but also at the same time I'm cleaning up the property and, you know, helping with the resale value later so people aren't looking, oh, you know, it's a pile of rotting wood. I don't want to look at that. So that's it. Just keep an open mind when you're doing stuff. And there are always lots of opportunities around. Maybe not the, they're not the best option. Maybe it's not the perfect option. But just because something's not perfect doesn't mean it's not very functional quite a bit at the time. That's it. Thanks for watching. This episode has been brought to you in part by Prescott Caliber Club and Jeske Defense Strategies. Prescott Caliber Club is a federally licensed firearm manufacturer and retail store specializing in firearms, survival gear, and producing great online content. If you want to thank them for supporting this channel, go check them out at prescottcalclub.com. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.